Um, first trailer, let's discuss Fast X, um, since that dropped, uh, this past Friday. So, there is another Fast and Furious movie, people, and it's coming, uh, Fast X. This is the 10th Fast mm-hmm. and Furious movie, um, new drama for the family <laughs> that going on. Yeah. yeah, people, yeah, they made 10 movies about a crew that started out stealing DVD VCR combos. Yeah. Um, and now they, you know, travel the world, fault spies, uh, work for governments, uh, <laughs> stop space, stop terrorists from taking over the world. They did all types of shit. You know, now they have to stop a new boss. Murdered, murdered thousands in their fucking like car chases throughout <laughs> various dare, cities. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in this new one, you see that their new foe is now Jason Momoa. Um, apparently he was somebody, so this is set up from, as you see in the trailer, this is from Fast Five, which I think is Fast Five's might be my favorite Fast and Furious movie. That one or Fast, or Furious 7 are probably two of my favorite Fast and Furious. For me, me it's probably either Five, then Seven, then Tokyo Drift. (coughs) Wow. me, Furious Six, Furious Six all day, baby. That's my favorite one. It's, It's like... Very six fucking rules. It does, it does have the it does have the best aged moment of the entire series. <laughs> uh, which moment? I'm I'm, I'm curious. Which... I mean, wrong oh. team, bitch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is yeah. That's aged like wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle Rodriguez harpooning Gina Carano out of plane. Oh, which I used to want to do. Which I used to want to do. I used to want to harpoon Gina Carano, and now I'm just like, eh. No, in a different context. <laughs> yeah, like you make bad, you make bad Ben Shapiro movies. Sorry, Uh-oh. Ben Shapiro movies. Sorry, I, 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 I directly implied that there are good Ben Shapiro movies. I, I apologize, audience. But, but, but uh, yeah, but to, yeah, to fast, uh, fast ten, the new villain Jason Momoa. Apparently, he was around during the entire chase during Fast Five. Yeah. Well, now he's come back for revenge. Which, by the way, y'all, why are you surprised at this point? They retcon this shit all the time. This shit is like, a this all this the enti- time. Yeah, this entire franchise is nothing more than a fucking soap opera, just with more fucking cars, more crashes, and more steroids. That is all it is. <laughs> yeah. And I am here for it. I yeah. make fun of this franchise all the fucking time. And I am goddamn here for it. Get yeah. stupid. Go crazy. I mean, the thing is, they just went to space. So it's like, what can you possibly do at this point? They went to space, and that's not even the dumbest thing they do in that movie. It's not. And and you, we see in this trailer Dom take down two helicopters. <laughs> no. no. The, the last fucking movie. I'm still salty about this. They're going to space and Luna just has to drop the line. As long as we obey the laws of physics, we'll be fine. It's like... <laughs> like huh? I mean, here, here, here you know, I, I, I've i said this before every Fast, Fast and Furious movie I've reviewed. Like, Vin, they should just start off with the Universal logo. Vin Diesel comes out with a big old match and just throws him on a physics book turns and looks at the camera and says family and then the, 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 the car drive right for you. Like, no, that, should, that should just be the new Universal Studios logo. It's just Vin Diesel fire, <laughs> physics, get a car. Let's go. Like, it's, uh, no, him, like, no, he, no, it's just him, like, uh, taking a physics books and just breaking it in half. Mm. Or breaking, like, a CG model of a physics textbook, because I don't even think he can do that. Hmm. Like it's it's amazing though. Like <clears throat> we're in ten of these. No one thought we'd get ten of these. I I still remember seeing the first one in theaters <coughs> in seventh grade, like on Friday night. Wow. I still remember mm-hmm. watching it, going, you know, I'm like, yes, I'm old, and I remember telling you, know, going, oh, that was fun. You know, I wonder what the next thing all those actors will do. Not thinking that there would ever be a sequel to the shit, and yet. <laughs> Here we are, t- you know, ten, nine films later, and I can't, 
can't lie. I'm excited. I'm excited <laughs> for this fucking movie. Like, I'm, they get I'm, me each time. They, yeah, they get my money every time. And even in the bad ones, even in the ones that I think absolutely suck, like uh, like Fate of the Furious, Fate of Furious there's, not, still, yeah. there's still parts of that movie I still enjoy. Like the entire <laughs> romance between uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. yeah like, but because yeah, let's like, be honest, it, it, it's a fucking romance. <laughs> oh, it, it, it totally is. But yeah, like that's like the, <laughs> the whole area. My hilarious thought of this trailer, they brought back Paul Walker's ghost before they brought back Scott Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> they, they are just like... Because well, uh, they were trying so hard because he was like little nobody or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was like the they, yeah. assistant. They, yeah. yeah, he was like the new Mr. Nobody that was working with the team. They even gave him a car that was very similar to one that Paul Walker drove in a previous movie. Oh, and no, nah, motherfucker, you get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, 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 it... Oh, go ahead. Like I buy, the, I buy the rock coming back for the final one before I buy them calling Scott Eastwood. I, I the, the thing about them trying to do the little Mr. Nobody thing is that Scott Eastwood in no way, shape or form. Yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here, yeah. Here's the thing about Scott Eastwood. He's a terrible actor. Yeah, he 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 really is. He's a very bad actor, but he doesn't have a tenth of Kurt Russell's charisma. Like, cause Kurt Russell, when he's introduced as Mister Nobody, he owns that fucking scene yeah. and is actually having is actually man, ripping, yeah. man takes the stupidest fucking dialogue I have ever heard, and yeah, it, it fucking it, works. It it it's kind of like how in Wanted. When Morgan Freeman is explaining the like the history of like the whole organization, <laughs> you're gonna send one in where we can sh- or follow the code to the letter or shoot this motherfucker. Like, like because it's like you're hearing it, and you're like this feels like bullshit, but it's Morgan Freeman delivering it, so he knows how to deliver it to make it at least digestible. And it's like it's like when you get Ken Watanabe and fucking Godzilla. That's a that's a very apt comparison, actually. Yeah. It, that what Nick just said. Um, so, so see in the trailer here. So yeah, Jason you Momoa. Get a, yeah, you get him delivering delivering a dumbass line like "Let them fight" with all the gravitas <laughs> of goddamn <laughs> Shakespeare. Uh, so see Jason Momoa. See, so he's gonna be the big bad here. Another big celebrity here. You see, is Brie Larson. Who? So I don't know what. Ass Brie Larson. Let's go. Uh, Oscar, girl. Oscar, Oscar winner Brie yeah. Larson. <laughs> Brie Larson. Oscar uh, winner Brie Larson and one of our like now 16 EGOTs with uh, Rita Moreno as Dom's mama. Yeah. Uh, is so it, oh, is that his? Okay, that's his mom that says Rita Moreno. Yeah, Rita Moreno also. is in this as, as yeah. Dominic Doretto's mom. Um, you also see that. <sighs> Um, you and, see John and, Cena. And the, of, uh, and the return of the return of John Cena coming back. Jason Statham, yeah. and of course, a uh, uh, little Brian Toretto, who has changed actors and ethnicities like three times. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, dude. So that's because that's his kid that he had with the the agent that was with The Rock in Fast Five. Mm. Cor- correct. Right. Correct. So yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah. The kid that he had with Mrs. Hemsworth. Oh right, yeah, that is yeah Chris Hemsworth's wife, yeah. Um, so you kind of see this, yeah. Uh, so it's pretty much a square up between them. Um, again, similar kind of setup, a villain that's coming for the family, everything like that. They're you know the big bad, and he's got all these. So by the end of the next, so by the end of the next movie, he's gonna be at the barbecue with everybody. Yeah, yeah. of course. Like like like. Yeah. Hey everyone, I rode in on a dolphin. Oh, cool. <laughs> like, like, hey, I killed one of your friends, but we cool now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's sorry, I <laughs> killed one of your friends because death means nothing in this franchise. It's unless you're so... Paul Walker. Yeah, yeah I yeah. <laughs> Wow <laughs> <laughs> That wow, goddamn. So it kind of looks <laughs> like they may go backwards. Like it's gonna be very interesting to see how they because they've talked about how they are doing flashbacks to other parts of the films. And I'm just like, oh, that could get very mm-hmm. bad very quickly. <laughs> so I so I will admit that is a concern of mine, that they're just like, oh, we're gonna have flashbacks. I'm like, eh, like you don't really need to you don't need to <laughs> have 
have yeah. multiple ones, so I don't know. We'll see. But the action looks as absurd as I would expect at this point. Cause, cause, yeah, like y- you remember when you were a kid, you just like if like maybe your Hot Wheel might go off the track and run to a wall. That's what they're doing right now. They might as well just be throwing Hot Wheels at the wall like this. <laughs> it's just going like that's how we're filming our action scenes because. The, <laughs> These movies might as well just be Vin Diesel playing with a bunch of Hot Wheels. Like he was yeah. uh, playing with the, what was that commercial he did? Fucking Street Sharks? Yeah, Street Sharks, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, and yet, the camaraderie between the actors and their characters. It Say it. The shit Say it. Say it. It just, it just, it works. And I don't know how they keep getting it to work because uh, Fury is not, uh, Fast 9 it's so goddamn dumb. It's so stupid in so many points. And I was sitting there going, like, okay, as a critic, I know this is stupid. Like, I, I I kept saying it in my head. But I was like, I was so entertained. Like, when, yeah. Dom, when, when Dom Jungle swings his car, <laughs> and just, <laughs> it was like, just does a fucking Tarzan swing with a car. It, it just, no, when, Ty, when Tyrese is running his ass on a field doing a goddamn Looney Tunes escape on a truck that falls on top of him. Yeah, like, it, it's... John, John Cena, like, someone catches a car in that movie. <laughs> like, literally catches a car with their hands. Like, it, it's... It's it's so dumb. And I can't stop... Like, I just watched Furious 5, uh, or Fast 5 today, or, uh, earlier... It's like, God damn it! This movie still holds up. Like, I wish The Rock would, you know, not be dumb and doing Black Adam and sabotaging studios and would come back and finish the <laughs> shit out. Stop putting the nail on the coffin of the Snyderverse. Yeah. Um, is he gonna I guess do? Because we're never getting Hobbs and Shaw two. Yeah, I was gonna ask: is is, is Hobbs and Shaw two planned or anything like? Because that movie did pretty well I mean, in the box office. I think it did. It did. It did decently well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's. <laughs> It's one of the things now, though, like, what franchise does he have left? Like, Black Adam's not going to be a thing. Um, Jungle Cruise. He, he could do Jungle he Cruise, have, too. He could do that. He could, because that actually he did shot really jungle, well. He is doing Jungle Cruise, too. Yeah. Uh, Jumanji oh, 3? Well, technically 4. Four, oh, 4. It's a 4-4 yeah, four, four now? Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. Like, it was, I, yeah. I, it's crazy that he hasn't done gone back to Jumanji yet, but... I don't know. Like it's just, I so I'm a non apologetic, uh, apologetic defender of Hobbs and Shaw. I own this shit in 4K. I fucking love Hobbs and Shaw. It is dumb as fuck. It is a TNT movies for guys who love movies, like with a two hundred million dollar yeah. budget. That's exactly what the film fucking is. But mm-hmm. Vanessa Kirby kicks so much ass in that movie. Yeah, and in Statham, that's so Statham is falling into this beautiful part of his career where I think he realizes like I can make fun of myself but still do action shit because he's trying to be like yeah I mean that he's basically become his character in Spy yeah exactly like he he was taking himself so seriously doing like I think people forget the mechanic resurrection was a thing and that movie was so goddamn bad and Mm. I remember just thinking like dude have some fun and you know he ends up doing the uh, the ends up doing spy and spy fucking rules. Um, it's Melissa McCarthy's <laughs> best comedy by yeah, far. I've had, yeah, yeah, I've had this arm ripped off three fucking times. <laughs> and reattached to this fucking arm. <laughs> it, 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 Once it just, appeared convincingly in front of Congress as Barack Obama. And then he does. And then he does the Meg. And the Meg is fucking wonderful. And I'm so hyped. I think the sequel's this year. Um, oh really? It, okay. I think it is. I think so. Oh, yeah. I know so we're getting the yes. Meg two. Yeah. Like... Speaking of, speaking of, what the hell, Super Bowl? Where's my goddamn the Meg two trailer? <laughs> I can't wait for that trailer. Like, I just want to go. I just want to get to the end of the year and have a double feature of that with Cocaine Bear. You literally took my thought. You son of a bitch. Yes, that's all I want to do. Like, that's a perfect like have friends over, the cre- have some beer. The, per- and- the perfect creature feature, double feature. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, because the Meg is insane, but Cocaine Bear, I already have my tickets. I haven't, I haven't bought my tickets yet for uh, for Fast and Furious yet. I have my <laughs> ticket for Cocaine Bear. Yeah. Hey, we are all doing our part to save cinema. Yeah, 
cocaine bear will save cinema. All right. <laughs> Um, where's my suit? Where's my cocaine bear Super Bowl trailer? Come on, guys. <laughs> I know a lot of people talk about this trailer that, uh, you know, the budget on it became really inflated. I mean, the movie itself, I mean, uh, really inflated because uh, I think it's past like 300 I mean, million. Cha- I mean, they changed directors mid production. Yeah. It Louis did. Terrier is yeah. now the director uh, of this movie. Louis Terrier, who did, uh, he did like Incredible Hulk. He did uh, also uh, the Transporter films, which now start- you see me. Uh, yep, he did. Now you see me as well. Yeah, he also did that. Yeah. Yeah. So well, they they can't all be winners. Yeah. Um. I never seen now you see me, but so he did that. So you know the he other did. director of that movie he left. Uh. And then Liz Terry took over. Uh. Justin Lin. Uh. Left. Um. Or yeah. Yeah. He left and yeah. he took over, which is kind of a red flag for me. Yeah. Because just, Justin Lin is the guy who took this franchise and created the absolute fucking monster that it is. He was a director on Tokyo Drift who, which to this day, I still consider that the best directed movie in the franchise. And then he came back for uh, fast and furious. He did fast five and six. He turned this franchise into the monster. It is as a box office. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, the, the, when you have a director talking about like feeling disrespected, with mm-hmm. as much as Justin Lin did, that's a really bad omen. So that is my to Nick's point. That's what gives me cause to pause. Uh, cause to pause because if you're leaving something that you've had this much of a hand in directing, mm. like like that would be like if Kevin Feige like didn't produce whatever the next Marvel film is going to be. Mm-hmm. Like that would be a giant. Like why aren't you helping on the process on this? So. It'd be, it'd- it it'd be like if James Gunn said "fuck off" on Peacemaker. Mm. Yeah, it would be that yeah. level of a of a fucking uh, of a of of a backstab with it, which is very concerning. Watching this trailer, yeah. which I think that is something that this franchise it really thrives when it has the right director with the right vision. Because you go from even uh, after Lynn left the franchise on Seven, and you get James Wan. And to a lot of people, that's one of the best movies in the franchise. One of the best uh, just action blockbusters all time. And then you get mm-hmm. F. Gary Gray on Fate of the Furious. And I'm no. such a fan of his, and it just did not. Yeah, work. it and it hurts. And even, to an, and, and even to an extent, John Singleton, who directed the the second one, which yeah. that movie is messy as hell. Yeah. But it's so much fun. Yeah. It's so much fucking fun. Like it's really fun. <laughs> That movie is fun when you don't consider the fil- kind of film it's intended to be as and consider it as a rom-com. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and also, my one of my concerns with this uh, movie is that how maybe, you know, having all these characters in it, how bloated it will be, you know, the family's just gotten bigger and bigger each movie. Um, and then you see kind of at the end of this trailer, you see uh, Charlize Theron. She's back. Um, I guess they're going to yes, do – um, I guess it's going to be face-off, I guess. Like her and Michelle Rodriguez are going to sw- swap faces or something like that. Like you see them lying next to each other. Oh, and, I fucking hope so. <laughs> oh, God, uh, they do that. that would... uh, and then they started – Who knows? Like, maybe – who knows? Maybe finally Letty and Dom will have some chemistry. Uh-huh. I – oh. <laughs> Um, I and I just want to see Vin Diesel punch a plane. Like we have one more movie. <laughs> like like at this point, just I also want to know what else they can do because the magnet shit in the last movie is some of the most like, come on y'all really. But I kept cheering. I'm like, this is great. I'm like, this is stupid as fuck. Bro, but how many times it... Vin Vin Diesel flexes? And pulls down goddamn a concrete pillar in the last movie. Yeah, where can they go? Yeah, like, I I'm genuinely curious on where they're gonna go because action wise, I just can't think of what else they can possibly do at this point. Yeah. Um. Well, we'll see. I mean, it says in cinema soon, so there's no concrete release date yet for it. Um, well, it's May. Um, is is May there eighth? I think May eighth. Okay. okay. Let me let me check. I think I, that sounds right. Uh, oh, May nineteenth. It, it, May nineteenth. Okay, there so May nineteenth. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Fast X. Yeah. Right, we're gonna be there. So you, uh, can't, 
the yeah the budget's three hundred forty mil. That is nuts. Ooh. Yeah. Um. So. Hopefully. Um. All right. Um. Next trailer that we're going to be discussing is Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh. Three. Um. So this is a new trailer for that. Um. So I saw this actually before the super. I saw this in the cinema when I went to go see Magic Mike. This was playing before. Oh, they're playing it there. Yeah. Nice. Um. So this is a new trailer for this. Um. And what's some of you guys' thoughts on the trailer? So, so it's funny. I actually have not watched the trailer. I have actually not watched the trailer yet. Oh, okay. Okay, the trailer looks really good. I like that we're seeing, uh, just in the trailer, we're seeing interaction with a new Gamora, who, if for all of you who remember Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, the Gamora that Peter had a relationship with died. And now we have 2014 Gamora, who this is one that was from before she met any of the Guardians, besides Nebula, who... This is a time when Nebula and Gamora still hate each other. And here we also get more looked at uh, Ch- Chuck Woody Awuji, who's playing the high evolutionary, who is one of, uh, who, for all of you that remember the uh, Spider Man Unlimited cartoon, he was one of the main villains in that, where he was like yes. obsessed with gene splicing. And we see right here that he's responsible for creating Rocket. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you see a lot more of him. I think we're getting much more of his uh, backstory in this. Yeah, you do see a lot more of him. He he gets some lines of dialogue in the trailer. Um, this seems to be a very emotional trailer. Um, you know, Kasem, who's a friend of the podcast, he he messaged me and said, "Yeah, I'm putting money on it. Rocket's dying. Uh, Rocket for sure is dying in it. Mm. I think I got money. I think Rocket and Drax. I think I'd have to say both of them are probably gone. If I had to say." Um, but uh, yeah, it does seem like a very you know more you know emotional kind of trailer here. A little bit more story involved. You do see a little bit more Adam Warlock here, who's played by Will Poulter. You see a little bit of him here using his abilities, using his powers, kind of flying. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you kind of see that as well. Um, yeah, I mean, some shots. You know, also you saw from the first trailer like this scene of uh, uh, of Star Lord and uh, group going back to back there. Um, and seeing them kind of you say new Gamora, seeing her, I think that was also very good and very added, uh, very nice addition to the wow, trailers. That trailer was amazing. Holy shit. I just <laughs> finished it. God damn. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's one of the few trailers, uh, and I was talking about with uh, Danny Doggett. It's one of the few trailers where the last like joke of it actually really works very well because it's like a, a new Gamora is describing like, yeah, the woman that you're describing, it sounds more like Nebula. Mm. And and uh, him and and uh, Quill kind of share a look. It's like, N- stop yeah. it! <laughs> uh, that was yeah. the, it. Did end on a good note. I thought that yeah, that ending was pretty good there for that trailer. Um, and this is um, coming out also in May, uh, May 2023. Yeah, so that's also coming out. Yeah, May's May is gonna be a fun month. Um, oh, yeah. Just between this and. Uh, and fast 10 um <laughs> james gunn just james gunn just knows the music to set mm-hmm. in the gardens universe like he just no song feels out of place yeah, to he, all very... yeah can we call it right now james gunn is kind of the master of cinema it, it's either him or edgar wright who they know yeah. how to play this how to place the song they know when to use it they know when to cut it off and they know what song is gonna fit a particular scene i mean James Gunn is probably one of the best to the point where DC basically tried to crib that entire style for Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. Th- oh, thank go- God, he's running DC now. I was just gonna say, just real quick, thank God he's running DC. <laughs> like, like I, I know I didn't get my thoughts on it, but that slate. That slate looks awesome. I, I can't wait to see what he does. Um, yeah. 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 Well, you weren't available, so uh, we. Put out the emergency signal to uh, our mutual friend Jamarco, and that uh, breakdown Fair. of the TCU slate is up on our YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash The Afternoon Tune. Mm. Um, but uh, um, it, it, it was really funny to see James Gunn post about the Flash trailer and then post about Guardians like an hour later. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, that's right. like, like, uh... <laughs> Doing double duty. 
Uh, it reminded me, remind me of that uh, of It's Always Sunny with Mac is like, or no, a Parson Rack of Aziz is like, I bet on both sides. So that way I always win. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. So it's going to be very, it's going to be fun to see how they, what they do here. Cause mm. like we have the X Men coming in. So I, I've said this for years that if uh, Disney had the <laughs> rights originally to the X Men, when the MCU launched, there would be no Guardians of the Galaxy. There's no fucking way they would have mm. made this shit. Mm. So, no, no. so it's a really happy accident that they didn't, and that James Gunn had this pitch, and that everything worked out as well as it did. But I don't... I'll be honest, unless it's Edgar Wright, or it was Lord Miller, I wouldn't want anyone... I don't want anyone else handling the Guardians, to be honest. So mm. if this is really the last time we see him, while wow, that would suck... Um, I think I'd rather have that at this point than rather than see someone fuck him up, mm. um, which makes Adam Warlor, uh, Warlock potentially a one-off, which is a bit frustrating. I don't think so. <laughs> I think they're going to carry over Adam I mean, Warlock. I, think. Will Pol- I mean, Will Poulter didn't spend like 10 years like trying to shed the fucking geek image from where the Millers and spending all That's of his fair. time in the gym. <laughs> For nothing, for a yeah. goddamn one-off. That's that's fair because Adam War- he is such a vital character in so many like Marvel arcs, and so it it would be kind of nuts for them to just not have him around anymore. But yeah. I don't know what you do with the Guardians. Honestly, I think you do just ice them and and kind of or like let this be the swan song. I don't know. Maybe or you, you do another like, Guardians team. Yeah. Maybe you get some other or members. You let them be like supporting players and other projects. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, like but you do another Guardians team don't. with Cosmo or the uh, Otter or something like that, and you know, or maybe some other members, Nebula. I, yeah, I. I... I'm so sad because I know Rocket's gonna like I I know that death's coming, but but I'll be real, y'all, and I, I've talked about on on my show. Um, animal death just hit me different now. Having pets, like like mm-hmm. they just they they just they just hit me in the spot where I just like that's why with John Wick, I'm like you kill every single fucking person that's associated with that son of a bitch who killed your dog. It's like everyone, but. Yeah, I'm like emotionally trying to prepare my heart for the, uh, you know, for 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 that because mm. yeah, I can handle any other it's member of the Guardians dying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, gun- I, mean uh, ju- I mean, just off of Dave Batista saying this is the last time I'm playing Drax, I feel like he's probably gonna go also. I did too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. So. That was Guardians of the Galaxy there. Um, final trailer is The Flash. So The Flash had a new oh, trailer. Well, well, there's 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 one more kind of trailer before we get to The Flash, and that was, was uh, Super Mario Brothers, which is like a plumbing commercial in the universe where it's uh, they redo this uh, cartoon where it was the uh, Super Mario Show Brothers theme. Okay. Um yeah, I mean, I mean, if you want to talk about that, I mean, that's just kind of like a little bit of a promotion there. If you want to discuss that, yeah, like, you know, a little. Yeah, it's okay. a little bit of a promotion. It kind of fits in that, uh, in that universe with more of these, uh, more of the Mario Brothers character, and it's still produced by Illumination, and it kind of has that sense of humor where I think they might know what they're doing with it. It's just Chris Pratt's so tragically miscast as Mario that yeah. I. That I want to look forward to this movie and I can't. Mm. Okay, yeah. I didn't. I, uh, you took the you took the words out of my mouth. That's literally exactly how I feel. Yeah. Did you see that uh, that they did for the Super Bowl Super Mario the Hunter? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, like like a, che- it's like a cheesy commercial for yeah. for the Mario Brothers plumbing business. Yeah, it was like down it was to have, just... even down to having the customer read off the cue card in the camera. It's like the yeah, it was, it was thing funny. You're not draining is my bank account. Mm. Yeah, it was actually funny. Like it was really, it was really okay. well done. Um, it's just, I don't know. Like I, I, I'm right there with Nick. I want to be excited for this because I think about you know, um, Charlie Day voicing Luigi. That's that was great. Anya Taylor Joy's uh, Princess Peach. Awesome. Uh, Jack Black as Bowser. That sounds great. 
And then Seth you get Rogen. to play Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, also sounds great. And then you get to fucking Chris Pratt as Mario. It's like, why? Like, of all the people, mm. it, it, it's just, why? Why, why, why? So I hope it's good. I really do, because we've sat through enough bad mm. video game movies. Like, we, yeah, be, we've it, sat through we sat through way too many video game movies, and we're getting The Last of Us right now, which yeah. is one of the, which is, I'll say it, just off of these five episodes that have aired, the greatest. Yeah. Uh, but but I uh, but I still remember seeing the original Super Mario Brothers movie when I was a kid because I saw it said Super Mario Brothers. So my you know five year old brain's like, oh Super Mario's, can we watch this? And I remember I went home and watched it with my dad, and I was oh. like, that was bad. And I was like, oh, sometimes Hollywood will screw you. Uh, <laughs> so, oh so my I, sweet summer child. Yeah, so I I hope this is good just for fans of it. Like, like I have a bitterness towards Mario because I'm a Sonic guy and just seeing them constantly get Mario right and then just be like, let's give Sonic a fucking sword just breaks my fucking heart and I don't understand why Sonic's so hard. Anyways, but so I I hope this is good for fans of Mario. Like, as myself, more of a casual fan, but I do hope this is good because because mm. if they don't get this right again, they're gonna not try again. It's like another 25 years so yeah. and you try to go to the website smbplumbing.com try to go to that see what that's about some hidden easter eggs maybe try to do that uh huh. uh oh, i remember when uh, movies used to do that back in the day uh they used to just make a whole website oh, yeah. just dedicated to the movie like i think this, the yeah, space jam that. website i think that they shut that down i think what like a little bit ago Cause that was up yeah, for a it, it long was, time. It was very recently when they shut it down. And that was up for a long, long time. Yeah, but now most movies just make Twitter accounts. That's it. They don't make a whole website anymore. They just gotta make the <laughs> Twitter accounts. Um. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to the Flash. Um. So, um, this is the second trailer for this movie. Uh, uh that we see. Yeah. Best part of the trailer when the Flash just ran to Hawaii and started throwing <laughs> chairs at couple sink karaoke. <laughs> Uh, we're seeing a lot more. So here is more of a lot more story beats that we're kind of seeing here. Um, if they're revealing all this in the trailer, possibly they have a lot more to to come in the movie itself. Because it seems like they are showing a lot. You see, like you see, Clark Michael Keaton's Batman is in here, which we already know. We already knew that he was going to be in there. But in the first trailer, we just heard his voice. Here, you actually get to you know see him in the costume, moving around, everything like that. Yep, and there's see him. Yep, see him in that PlayStation Two looking cutscene that they have him in. Yeah, I t thought I would, which is going to be coming up in the trailer uh, that I'm going to get to. Uh, yeah, that that scene where you actually get to see him. But uh, yeah, you also get to see Supergirl here um, as well. So they're doing the Flashpoint storyline, and in this, the Flashpoint storyline, people don't know they also did a DC animated movie about it, which is one of the better DC animated films mm -hmm. that they did, um, the Flashpoint oh, really? Paradox. Yeah. Um, so in that story, it's all about uh, Barry going back to save his mother. It's him saving his mother basically messes up the entire kind of universe, creates all these, uh, fractures it. Um, in the Flashpoint Paradox, it caused it where the Atlanteans and Amazonians were at war with each other in this alternative world. Um, Superman, uh, but in this movie, The Flash, it's not going to be Superman, it's going to be Supergirl, that what if Superman never got found by Ma and Pa Kent, but he got found by the government first, so they kept him, they basically homelander his ass, kept him in a lab his whole life, and you know what I mean, experimenting on him and everything like that. So here it's going to be Supergirl instead of Superman, and also in this uh, alternative world, in the Flashpoint Paradox, Batman, uh, basically I guess is like, Basically, Batman, Michael Keaton, Batman, or Ben Affleck, Batman mm -hmm. from BVS, he just kills people with no <laughs> regard. I mean, he basically just shoots people, no problem. But also, it's not Bruce Wayne, but it is Thomas Wayne, who is the father of Bruce Wayne, uh, because in this alternate no, but, world. No, but they said this this Michael Keaton is Bruce Wayne, Batman. Yep. It, it's in the so, verse. So, and that's one of the changes from the Flashpoint Paradox uh, comic. Uh, that you have here is that it is Bruce Wayne, uh, Michael Keaton, mm -hmm. uh, Batman, who is coming back. And you're going to have two Batmans in the movie because you're going to have Ben Affleck, who's going to be in this. You see him in the trailer as well. And you're going to have Michael Keaton. Uh, Batman is there um, in this movie. So um, you got that kind of going on. Um, who's the actress, uh, by the way, who played? What's her name again? Who plays Supergirl? In this? Uh, Sasha Kale, 
she was mostly a soap uh, soap opera actress before yes. this. I think this is one of her, uh, well, was supposed to be one of her big breaks. Yeah. Um, so you yeah. see her. Yeah. Um, you also see Michael Shannon, who's back as General Zod. So they're doing a look, a lot of kind of more references back to like Man of Steel, everything like that. Yeah, they're yeah they're taking the Flashpoint storyline and using this goddamn inbred Frankenstein's monster of a cinematic universe as the as the blueprint for it. Yeah. Um, which is kind of weird that Flashpoint Paradox is going to be the, your very first Flash movie. Uh, I mean, you, we Dude, have. Thank you. I've been saying that shit since they announced this. It's been driving me nuts that no one else is like, why does that bother you? It's like, it would be like if you started Captain America's first movie as Winter Soldier. You'd just be like, why the fuck are you starting with one of your biggest. I. It makes no sense to me. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, because we haven't even seen Reverse Flash. We have never even seen Gorilla Grodd. We've never seen, you know, Captain Cold. We haven't even seen the majority of the Flash's mm-hmm. rogues gallery. Um, yeah, which is just insane considering that the Flash has one of the, like, had one of the most popular TV shows where we got to see a lot of the fucking rogues gallery. Like, you have the blueprint, at least for, like, the first two seasons of that show, of what to do for a Flash movie. Yeah. And uh, you're starting with Flashpoint. Yeah. So, that, that to me, that's a weird choice, but, yeah, uh, there you go. Um, how do you all like the uh, Flash suit here? Different-looking kind of suit. I've, I've said it. It looks like shit. Mm. I'll be completely honest with you. Like, they focus close up on on Ezra Miller, like, from the front of looking at the suit with the full helmet on, it looks like shit. It looks like a kid in cosplay. Wow. No, that's insulting to kids. No, that's insulting to, like, cosplayers who, you know, don't start cults, don't choke slam people in bars in Iceland, don't throw bar stools at people who are just trying to have fun and sing at karaoke. Mm. (laughs) Uh, Hunter, what do you think? All right, I'm really conflicted on this because, look, as much as as the older I get, I will admit Batman is just a harder character for me to love just because um, I think Matt Reeves, the Batman, kind of captures it perfectly. It's like Batman can't just punch villains over and over again and change Gotham. He actually, actually needs to be a symbol of hope, and that's been such a thing that the main, like, live-action stories just have not made that connection. And I I love that Matt Reeves does. And, but I love Bat, like, I I really do love the character. Mm -hmm. Um, And Batman 89, I just rewatched it recently, as cheesy as it gets at points, and how, and as bad as that cowl looks, um, goddamn, I love that movie. And Batman Returns, I rewatched it this past Christmas, and just, I, I love Batman Returns, too. So seeing Keaton in the suit, I won't lie, I got boost goosebumps. Um, I got I got choked up a little. I'm like, that's so fucking cool that he's back. But then there's but then there's the Ezra Miller part and just all the stuff I saw with Ezra Miller talking to himself. It just made me go like, why do you have two berries? I really <laughs> wish there was it was a different version of like, like have Wall like if they were smart, they would have tweaked this and been like. Let's have the other Flash be Wally West. So then when we write, we, when we write Barry out of here because we have to. <laughs> when we write Ezra Miller the fuck out of here because we have to. And you have your next Flash right there. And I just, I don't know why they're making this hard. It's really frustrating because I've never been stolen Ezra as the Flash. Like he's just, he, they, they just never, they just never got, they just never clicked for me. And I think they run horribly. I think they're fucking run. Like, you remember in Ace Ventura when he gets shot with the uh, poison dart <laughs> in Nation Calls? And he's like, he's doing like this shit. That, that's how Ezra Miller runs when he's the Flash, and it bugs the fuck out of me. It's the most yeah. annoying ass run. And he just, the fl- like, he feels like uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the Flash. Like, he just, like, like it, it just doesn't feel like Barry Allen to me at yeah, all. He- yeah, even the quote-unquote improved version of him in Snyder, 
it still felt like that. It, it still felt like so <laughs> off. It never yeah. felt like he he understood what made Barry Allen the character he was. Yeah. So yeah. I just and even, and even the good parts of that take on the character, like uh, like one of the few parts that even worked in the theatrical cut of Justice League was the scene of uh of uh of them and uh, Billy Crudup in the jail cell scene. Yeah. And you don't even get that because you recast uh, Henry Allen. Yeah. yeah, who's played by Ron Livingston now um, instead of Billy Crudup. Uh, who Billy Crudup, people, he was Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen. Ron Livingston, famous for being in Office Space. Um, that was a big role he was in. So now, yeah, the dad, Billy Crudup, he's, he's, they flashpoint his dad. His dad's not even played by Billy Crudup anymore. Um, uh, you kind of see that. Um yeah, the suit, I mean, they're going for the comic look, so it's mostly all red. It's all red with the kind of... So it's basically very comic accurate, the suit, what they're doing there. It's just straight red. It, it, with looks, the... it looks rough, though. It just looks... It looks very blobbish. I think that's my issue with it. Like, there's really no definition in the suit. Like, it's just... It looks weird. It's just... It, lo- it looks off. Um, okay. Because here's... DC can, yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to get a good uh, clip of it on the trailer here of the, of the suit where he's kind of more face in front. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just saying, like, it's so weird because um, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, comes out next month. Mm-hmm. And they've nailed those Shazam suits. And it's like, I don't get what the, where the disconnect is with the Flash because I've never thought the Flash's suit looked good. And uh, And at this point, it's... This movie has a lot going against it. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's Star. Like, there will be... Oh, yeah. You mean the goddamn pariah that is this goddamn uh, film's lead actor? Like, and now we get two of them! Yeah, and I just... it's So, first off, it comes off very ironic him, like, yelling at himself and basically almost choking himself in that trailer. <laughs> I was just like that. I was like, oh, man. I was oh, like, man. someone should have cut this. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a very, like... <laughs> Like unintentional, like self own, which kind of describes Warner Brothers quite often. But I don't know. Like see, having Michael Shannon back as Zod, that's actually one of the things I really like about Man of Steel. So getting Michael Shannon back, Michael Shannon's Michael Shannon. He'll he'll show out. Um, mm-hmm. I'm excited to see Supergirl. Like I like I'm just a fan of that character. So I'm curious the 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 route they're gonna go with her. Um, the but the big question that comes is, is this all going to be for nothing? Like, are they just going to recast Supergirl anyway because it's doing you know the new Supergirl movie? Like, is any of this shit going to matter in a year? You know, is Gun going to come out and be like, oh yeah, yeah all it, those? Yeah, yeah, is any of this going to matter in two years' time when the when the official DC use kicks off with Superman Legacy? Is any of this fucking movie going to matter? Yeah, and I think that's what a lot of fans are at right now. Because I know a lot of people who are like, I'm, I, who are going, I might wait on Fury of the Gods because I don't fucking know if it's gonna matter in, you know, two next point two years. Like it may not. Yeah. Uh, you know, go with Guns Vision. Yeah, I got a good shot of here of Supergirl where she's about to laser, um, laser eyes here. This is a really good shot of her here. This is a really good shot. Um, how do you like the costume for Supergirl? Since we're discussing Supergirl um, at the moment, how do you like her costume? It's good. It, yeah. yeah, for what it is, it, it's trying to keep in line with a lot of the the the, ugh, the fucking Snyder versus uh, design sensibilities in terms of... Uh, of how Superman looks, and it kind of fits with that. Especially if this is like a flashpointed version where Kara wound up on Earth instead of Clark. Yeah, and you see she's got the cape, yeah. everything flowing. Yeah, you see a good side where she's flying next to the bat plane here. Um, oh, here's a good shot of the costume right here. I have I, it where she's kind of flying. I don't, yeah, I don't know what it is, but in all of the projects that Annie Machete, Muschietti has worked on, because he... Previously did uh, Mama, which is that horror movie starring Jessica Chastain. And, of course, his biggest project was uh, the two It film. I don't know what it is with Andy Muschietti, but he has never made a film where CGI looked good. Mm. It has always looked like goddamn PlayStation 1 graph. And it looks horrible in this trailer. Yeah, yeah like, it, it's, it's weird because... <sighs> yeah, all, yeah, all of... It's kind of weird because this trailer, it 
it the thing that came to mind was all of the fucking bullshit complaints that all of you fucking nerds have had about marvel for the last three year two years since fucking phase four kicked off <coughs> i get it now yeah. <coughs> yes it, it, and 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 I watched this trailer. I, I I ignored all of the fucking baggage that comes with the presence of Ezra Miller. Just watched this trailer purely yeah. on its own merit. This movie still looks like shit. I so I won't say it looks like shit because I am excited for the Keaton stuff. I'm curious how they use Affleck, and I am this, I'm, this all of that stuff with with Keaton. Because because they know they have too much baggage with fucking Ezra Miller, so they oh, yeah. are doing everything in their power. Oh, absolutely! It's on him as on them as little as possible. Yeah, yeah. but you oh, can't no, they, they, do that when the movie is called The Flash. It's not Batman No Way Home. Oh no, I, I look, I, I don't, I don't disagree with you. Um, all I'm saying is like the Keaton stuff for me that does have me excited. The Supergirl stuff that does have me excited. How much of that is going to be in there? TBD, but Ezra Miller still needs to carry this and all the dialogue I heard them saying I was just so underwhelmed by and that's been my big issue with him, with them playing the Flash. I've just been underwhelmed really at every turn as, as far as when they need to actually emote and go ahead and deliver these lines and so I'm I'm worried. I'm honestly worried about this movie. I know some, like a lot I'm going through comments right now and I'm seeing people going oh man, I'm so excited, but so much of that that I'm seeing is tied to Keaton, because look, you know, you hear you hear the all, Batman theme all, again, bro, and... All, bro, all of that excitement is purely tied to Michael Keaton. Yeah, so, so, like, I, like, so, I, I get it, like, like, marketing-wise, they're doing the best thing they can possibly do, and try to, like, go, you know, like, hey, no, the, you know, the toy's over here, the toy's over here, don't pay attention to the this toy will choke people. <laughs> like, like, yeah, don't. But, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't pay attention to this choke slamming women, I, women in Iceland. Yeah, but it, th this movie has a, a a mountain to climb. Yeah, and... if yeah, if Ryan Coogler had a fucking mountain to climb with directing Wakanda Forever, yeah. Andy Muschietti has a goddamn Sisyphean boulder to push up a hill with this movie yeah this is the, the the press tour on this is going to be fascinating because what do you do you can't have ezra doing press yeah. i think he so, is in I, I, rehab right now i think he is in there yeah in the, so so yeah they're they're in rehab right now and apparently so i was doing a little research on this so apparently there are a lot of clauses in contracts where basically if an actor is in rehab or anything in that vein that you legally can't fire them without like an extreme penalty through the contract so this might be a case of gun just going like we can't say we're gonna okay. fire them we right now yeah and that is entirely what i think him uh promoting the flash is because yeah he just inherited the responsibility of this cinematic universe and it doesn't really look good to say, yeah, fuck everything that came before it, at least as True. explicitly as I'm sure him as a comic book fan wants to go. Yeah, yeah it's true. So I, I, I'm sure Gunn is definitely doing this to stay face, but I, I cannot stress this enough, and, I, and I, I want this on record, you cannot bring Ezra Miller back out of this movie. You cannot, because mm. after the no, whole... You can't. You you can't have that motherfucker. You can't have that motherfucker act again. Period. No. Yeah. Like you cannot bring them back uh, for this character because let, let's call it what it is. With the whole Ray Fisher shit, Cyborg mm -hmm. is on, Cyborg is on the sideline. Do we get yeah, another Cyborg, one Cyborg? Yeah. Ray Fisher got blacklisted for calling out Joss Whedon as being an asshole. Yeah. So do we get another live action Cyborg? Maybe not. So you're telling me you'd be willing to sideline Cyborg and the Flash? Like that would be nuts to have those two, those two off your roster. You know when you're starting when you're launching a whole new universe. So I would assume they'll make the switch to either another Barry Allen or to Wally West at the end of the movie. But yeah, I, I you cannot bring Ezra Miller back because you they, you cannot move past this. This isn't mm. something that you can just. I don't think that you can just bury away and that people will forget about. Yeah. Um, so, uh, speaking about Michael Keaton, he said a lot of the comments are talking about it. Um, 
it's funny that I mean, you know, bringing up you know Marvel, a lot of people had issues sometimes with the Marvel CGI. A lot of people talk about that. I feel like this trailer um, has something in it where you where Michael Keaton he first comes up here in the Batman costume and he does the I'm Mm -hmm. Batman line. It's like the way he delivers it. I was like, that is always the joke that people make about in marvel movies where they go like oh so that just happened i feel like that's the same kind of line delivery we get here where he just does the i'm batman it's like shit you're not wrong but, but you know michael I mean? keaton can do michael you're keaton not wrong that but cool, he, yeah michael keaton is that cool he can he sells that line and, and like the good. only good thing i saw about this trailer the only thing that i came away positive was seeing uh, Michael Keaton in the suit and that little twinkle of the Danny Elfman theme, the oh, yeah. piano twinkle that that gave me chill. Yeah, mm. it, it's 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 one of those things where uh, you know, like we were just saying, they know what they're doing. They understand mm-hmm. that they cannot pre- they cannot <laughs> actively advertise Ezra Miller. So what do you pivot to? You pivot to the Supergirl, which you know, making their debut again. Do they stay Supergirl? We'll see. But then, yeah, but yeah, but Sasha Kali, she's won a daytime Emmy for being on uh, Young and the Restless, and this is her feature film debut. And also, what's up, girl? Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd even be willing to overlook the fact she's from Boston. That's how, that's how beautiful she is. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I hope she, I hope she crushes it, cause, cause, cause Supergirl. Supergirl's such a fun fucking character. She's such a it, great character. It, it, it's it's she. Kara Zor El is one of the more fascinating characters in the DC universe because on paper, and in a way that even as much as I like the CW Supergirl show, they just wrote her as a gender swapped Clark Kent. Yeah. And Supergirl in comics is a much darker, more jaded character than that. Yeah. And it's very curious to see uh, a writer actually take that on and an actor uh take, take that on and it looks like we're kind of getting that with sasha kai's uh take on the on the character and something that gun is kind of pushing with a woman of tomorrow yeah, yeah which is if you have not read that 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 latest run like mm-hmm. that shit's wonderful i'd love to read it but it's fucking sold out everywhere even on it yeah. yeah, I I had a friend lend it to me. Thank you, by the way. Um, uh, but yeah, read that as soon as you can. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So a couple more things, and we're gonna be heading out from the trailer discussion. Um. So I don't know. I mean, I don't really like this trailer in general. I think it it feels like a lot of other kind of DC stuff, very over bloated, um, overstuffed. Um. I mean, you see like kind of this huge, big climactic battle. Um, here in this uh, trailer, you see a lot of stuff blowing up, a lot of explosions. Um, you know, I guess this is supposed so to be many. Um, the General Zod invasion, I guess, that you see here. Um, so I'm like, eh, I'm not too excited about that. A lot of effects just seem kind of look kind of rough, like uh, certain scenes, mm-hmm. like the Kara scene it here. It is the first trailer. Like, like to be fair, yeah, it is the first it trailer. Is, so. It is the first trailer, but... Also, Muschietti has had a history of not working that well with CGI, yeah. which is very concerning for me. Yeah. That's fair. Um, how do you feel about Michael Shannon coming back as General Zod? And do you think this trailer revealed too much? Do you think there's still they have a lot more that still could come in the movie? Or do you think they're trying to put all their cards on the table so people can come yeah. go see it? Because this movie's been delayed how many different times now? Like what? several. <laughs> I mean they've gone I mean they've gone through more directors than Taylor Swift has gone through boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, so um Yeah, it, it like I, I don't know. I think I, I think this movie I think they need no. They need to get people excited mm-hmm. uh, because it's Flashpoint. You can really kind of pull whatever out of your ass and just go other timeline to justify it. So yeah. I can easily see them just doing that. And even pretty- and, and even more so now since we're getting an entire reboot of uh, the DC universe. Exactly. So you could say, well, none of this is going to matter in two years. So fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, I it'll be interesting to see what the, fin- the the final product is. That that's what I'll say. Yeah, off this trailer, I couldn't give less of a shit. Fuck Ezra Miller, fuck them in their stupid fucking face. 
But if the movie's good, still fuck him, but I'll give him props. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be using Movie Pass to see this. <laughs> Uh, June sixteenth. I, I will be sneaking. I will be sneaking into the theater after I see. That that's that is also fair. And you said okay. June sixteenth, Josh. Yep, June sixteenth is when this is coming out. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to be too negative on it. Some things I did like, you know. Uh, the flash ring looks cool when you see the flash ring. That looks pretty cool when you see that. Um, that's like a famous thing, so you do see that. Um, I'm, I do like to see Ben Affleck come back as Batman. He is my favorite live action Batman. Um, so I do, you know, I like to see him. Um, let there. him rest, everyone. Let the <laughs> yeah. he's tired. <laughs> yeah, let him be in Dunkin' Donuts. He's let tired. him go to Dunkin' Donuts. Seriously, like, like, like let the, the man, people. Let the man. Let the man rest inside Dunkin' Donuts in peace. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, like he's gone through a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I do really like him as as Batman. So good to see him for however much he's in yeah, this movie. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Relapsed, went through a divorce, relapsed into Ana de Armas's. <laughs> I I can't finish that joke. <laughs> uh, married to J Lo. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's too good. Yeah, Michael Keaton, veteran actor. Good to see him. Happy to see him. I'm interested to see Supergirl. See, you know, what Sasha Kyle does a Supergirl. Um, so there's some interesting things here that you could see um, in this movie. Uh, it's just the budget is probably insane on this movie. You got to think it's probably over oh, 300, the, the 400. Budget's probably, the budget's probably around what Justice League was, which is rumored around 400. Like, yeah. like with all the delays and everything, this is probably around like I think 325 is the, is the floor for the budget on this. Yeah, right now listed on Wikipedia, 200 million. Oh fuck yeah! That's, that's, so that's the listed budget. Yes, yeah, so that's another hundred mil easy. Yeah. So yeah, oof. That's so this is gonna have to make like a billion dollars to basically break even. Yeah. Like during a theatrical run. So. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Rough. Yeah. Um. All right. So that was it, trailer. It's got to do fucking Avatar two numbers in order to fucking break even. <laughs> yeah. Good luck selling those toys too. Why is the why is my flash toy choking Barbie? Like you can't. <laughs> <laughs> good, luck, good luck selling toys. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So that was trailer discussions. Um, and we ended with the flash. <laughs>